can you use the iPhone 11 for stock photography? What's up everybody, this is Nicole Glass and in late November, I splurged. I bought myself the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah, did I really need that? I don't know, but I did. And I've actually been using it for stock photography and videography since then, primarily in those moments where I didn't have my regular camera with me. So how do those photos and videos fare? Well, before I get into the details, let's just look at the specs of this amazing mobile phone camera. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has some pretty cool features, including night mode. But what we all wanna know is, how good is this cell phone camera, or should I say cameras, since there's three of them, for stock photography purposes? So when you look at some of the photos that I have taken with this phone, they look pretty good. But looking pretty good is often not enough, at least for stock photography. So let's see how they did on Shutterstock. So overall, many of the photos and videos that I took with the iPhone 11 Pro Max were accepted on Shutterstock, which is a stock photography platform. And some of them have started to sell. However, the ones that were typically not accepted were ones that I took in low light situations or where I used the ultra wide camera. Although night photography is great with the new iPhone 11, it is still not the same as it would be with a high-end DSLR camera, like a 5D Mark IV. So for stock photography purposes, if you are using a phone like this, I would probably suggest using it in really well-lit scenarios to get your best possible photo. I've also gotten quite a few rejections when using the ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and uploading those photos to Shutterstock. However, those same photos taken with the wide or the telephoto camera on the phone were usually accepted. So it was really only the ultra wide that caused problems. And that's probably just because of the distortion that the ultra wide camera creates. Now, when it comes to stock video, the iPhone 11 Pro Max has done pretty great, actually better than I thought. When using that phone, I always shoot my videos in 4K, and the phone actually allows you to record 4K clips in 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second, which is awesome if you wanna create some nice slow motion sequences. I would say that the vast majority of the iPhone 11 Pro Max video clips that I have recorded were in fact accepted on Shutterstock, and again, the ones that were rejected were either filmed in a low light situation or by using the ultra wide lens. Now getting these photos and videos accepted is one thing, but the real question is, do they sell? Well, as any long-term stock photographer knows, it can take quite a bit of time for your photos to really gain momentum on a stock platform, you know, to get discovered and to sell in large quantities. It's not like you can upload a photo and report your conclusions one month later. You might have gotten a few downloads, but to really analyze the performance of that photo, you need, you know, you need more time. I will, however, say this. The iPhone photos that I have uploaded since I purchased the iPhone and the ones that have been selling are actually ones that illustrate a concept or a specific location, usually a location that has not been uploaded to Shutterstock very often before that. My iPhone landscape photos or cityscapes can't compete with the more professional photos of those places that are already dominating the first page of search results on Shutterstock. I know I uploaded some photos and videos in saturated categories, and that's more so because I wanted to test out the quality of the iPhone, and I really was just experimenting. So how can you compete with an iPhone? First of all, know your iPhone's capabilities. Know what lighting situations will help you create the best possible images. And second of all, find things to photograph that are in high demand and in less saturated categories. And I know we all wanna know what that is, but I guarantee if I told you what I think is in high demand and not saturated, it would no longer be unsaturated. At this point, I have tons of other videos that will give you so many ideas for things that you can upload. So feel free to check out my stock photography playlist to, you know, spark those ideas within you. 
I have more than 30 videos on stock photography, which is a lot. So I guarantee that a lot of questions have been answered in those 30 plus videos. So how much will I use my iPhone versus my camera? Well, nothing beats my 5D Mark IV, but the iPhone is something I will use in those moments where I stumble upon something that is super, super photo worthy, but I just don't have my camera with me. The iPhone is also awesome for creating B-roll for YouTube videos, which is another reason I really wanted that aside from, you know, stock photography purposes. And I mean, who doesn't want to take better selfies? Anyway, are you an iPhone shooter? And if so, how have your iPhone photos fared on stock photography platforms? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for today. Subscribe to this channel if you're new here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.